Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can create a photography website. Let's say you are a photographer and you want to create a website where you can showcase your best photos. So that when people visit your site, they can see your photos. And if they like it, they'll book your service right from your site. You can do that by watching this video. So after watching this video, you'll be able to create a photography website like this. And when people visit your site, they can see your best works here. And they can see the services you are offering. Now if they like your work and want to get your service, they can click book now. And if they fill up their booking details and click here, their booking will be successfully done. Now once someone books your service, you'll get an email to your inbox. And it will have their booking details. So you can easily contact them and provide your service. Ok, next our site will have a dedicated services page like this where you can showcase your services with all the details like this and then we'll see how you can set up your about page like this where you can add details about yourself and your team and you can also add your contact details next we'll see how you can add your instagram feed like this where you can promote your works ok so creating a website for your photography business can help you get more clients and improve your business it will also help you improve your brand image creating a website is simple and quick so make sure you watch till the end. I'm Harshit from Website Learners and let's start creating our photography website. Now to create a photography website, we are going to do two parts. The first part is to launch your photography website. Now this is where you'll get your website live on the internet. So to launch your website, just click the link below this video. And you'll get this page. As you can see here, we have the photography website. Now to check how your website will look, just click demo. And you can see the preview of your website. Now if we click services, you can see that we have got the services. Ok, once you are ready to launch your site, just click launch site. And you will get this page. Here you can find the details of your website plan. This plan is to keep your website live on the internet for one year. Ok, now to launch your website, here enter your details. Once you have done that, click next step. Again enter these details. And scroll down. Now enter your payment details. And click sign up now. Then you'll get this page. This means you have purchased your website. Ok, now to launch your website, let's scroll down. Then click launch new site. And you'll get your Make Your WP dashboard. Now here, enter a name for your website. I'm going to enter click scram. Now if you scroll down. Now here, you can see that a photography website is already selected. So. Just click launch new website. Now as you can see our brand new website has been launched. Now if you click visit, you will get your new website. This means your website is now live on the internet. So this is how you can launch your photography website. Ok, now here you can see that this is a temporary link to our website. Now instead of this, let's say you want to have a domain name like this. So, we'll see how you can add that later in this video. Ok. Now as you can see here, we have the demo content. Instead of these, let's say you want to change this text and the background image. How will you do that? So next, let's go to second part of this tutorial, where we are going to see how we can customize your website. So to customize your site, go to make your WP dashboard. And click admin here. Then it will take you to your website admin area. This is the place where you can control your entire website. Now to start customizing your website, go here and click visit site. Now to customize your home page, go to edit with Elementor and click on it. Then you will get the editing section. Now let's say you want to change the background image. All you have to do is click on these dots. And you'll get the options to edit your section. Now click style. And click choose image. Now drag 
and drop the image from your computer. And you can see that the background image has been changed. Now let's say you want to change this text. All you have to do is just select it. Then enter your own text. In the same way, you can change any text and the background you want. Now to save your changes, click here on update. And the changes will be saved. Now if you go to our site and click refresh, you can see that we have got the new background image and the text which we added. Now let's say you want to edit the service section. You want to change the image and this content. How can you do that? So to change these, let's go back to the editing section and scroll down. Now to change this image, click this pencil icon and click choose image. Now drag and drop the image from your computer. You can see that our new image has been added. Now if you want to change this text, just select it and enter your own text. In the same way, you can customize all your service sections. Now to save your changes, click update here. Now if you go to our site and click refresh, you can see that we have successfully got our new image and the text we entered. So this is how you can customize your service section. In the same way, you can customize and change the content of other pages also. Okay, now let's say people are visiting your website and they want to book your photography service. How will they do that? So now let's see how people can book your service. To make a booking, they can just click book now. And they'll get a form like this. Now they can fill up these details. Now they can select the service they want. Finally, here they can enter more information about their event and their requirements. Once they have done it, if they click book now, you can see that they have successfully booked your service. Okay, once people book your service, how can you know that someone has booked your service? When someone makes a booking, you'll receive an email to inbox like this which will have the booking details. So now if you go to our inbox, you can see that we have got a new email. Let's open it. And you can see that we have got the booking details. Once you got their booking details, you can contact them using their mobile number and email ID. So this is how you can know when someone has booked your service. Now if you go back to our site and scroll down, you can see here we have demo photographs in our portfolio. Now instead of these, let's say you want to add the photos that you took. How will you do that? So next, let's see how you can add your photographs to your portfolio. Now to add your photos, go here and click dashboard. And go to new photo gallery. Then click on it. And you'll get this page. Now go here and click edit. And you'll get this page. Now scroll down. Here you can see that we have the demo photographs. Now to add your photos, first let's delete these sample photos. So click delete all photos. And the photos will be deleted. Now click add photo. And drag and drop the photos from your computer. Then your photos will be added. Now to save your changes, Scroll to the top and here click update. And the changes have been saved. Now if you go to our site and click refresh, you can see that we have successfully added our photographs to our website. Now people can easily see your work and if they click on your photograph, they can see your photograph in a larger size. Now to see the next photo, they can click on this arrow icon. And they can see the next photograph. So this is how you can add your photographs to your portfolio. Okay, next let's see how our about page looks. So here click find about me. And you'll get your about page. 
Now scroll down. Here you can add your Instagram feed. Once you add your Instagram feed, people can see your post right from your site. And if they want to follow you, they can click follow on Instagram. And they will be automatically added to your follower list. Okay, now let's see how you can add your Instagram feed to your website. Now to add your Instagram feed, you need to connect your Instagram account with your website. So to connect it, let's go back to our admin area. Now here, click on the Instagram feed. Now click on add new. And then click next. Now click on add source. Then you will get this page. Now here make sure you have selected the type of Instagram account which you want to connect. Now click login with Instagram. Then click allow. Then select your account. And click next. And then click save. Now to add this Instagram feed on a website, click on embed. And then copy the short code. Now let's go back to our site. And then click on edit with Elementor. Now scroll down. And select this. Now paste your short code here. And then click on update. Now if you go back to our site. And click on refresh. You can see that we have successfully added our Instagram feed to our website. Now people can see your Instagram feed right from your website. And if they click follow on Instagram, it will take them to your Instagram account and they will be automatically added to your follower list. And they can check your post. Okay, now you know how you can add your Instagram feed to your website. Now if you go back to our site, here you can see that we still have a default logo. And on this side, we have a demo phone number. So now, let's see how you can add your logo and your phone number. Now to add your logo, click customize. And you'll get these options to customize your website. Now to add your logo, go to the logo and click this pencil icon. Now click change image. Then drag and drop your logo here. And your logo will be added. Now to increase your logo size, all you have to do is drag the slider like this. And you can see that the logo size has been increased. Ok, now to add your phone number, go to the number and click the pencil icon. Now here you can add your phone number. So let's add our phone number. And you can see that our phone number has been added. Now to save your changes, just click publish. And your changes will be saved. Now if you go to our site and click refresh, you can see that we have successfully added our logo and our phone number. Ok, now let's see how your website looks on a mobile screen. So this is how your website will look on a mobile screen. Now people can click on this menu icon and they can see your website menu. Now if they click on your phone number, they'll be able to call you. Ok, now let's say you want people to contact you via WhatsApp. So that you'll be able to reply to them when you want. So next let's see how you can add a WhatsApp contact feature to your website. Now to add it, let's go to our admin area. Now go to plugins and click install plugins. Then scroll down and you'll see this plugin. This is a plugin which will help you to add WhatsApp contact feature to your website. So let's click activate. And the plugin will be activated. Now go here and click on join chat. Here you can add your WhatsApp number. So I'm going to add my WhatsApp number. Once you are done, scroll down and click save changes. Now if you go to our website on mobile, you can see that WhatsApp contact feature has been successfully added. So if people click on the WhatsApp button, then it will show your number in WhatsApp. Now they can easily message you and you will get their message to your WhatsApp account. 
So this way you can easily chat with your clients. Okay, now you know how you can make a complete photography website. Next, if you look at the name of our website, you can see it's not easy to remember for you and people. So instead of this, now let's say you want to have a domain name like this, which will look more professional and easy to remember. You can do that by getting a domain name for your website. So next, let's see how you can add your own domain name to your photography website. To get your domain name, just go to the video you're watching right now and click the link in the description. And this will take you to webspacekit.com where you can buy your domain name. Now here, enter the name that you want for your website. I'm going to enter clicksgram.com. Now if you click search, you can see that this domain name is available. So once you find a name which is available, to get this name for your website, just click add to cart. Then click continue. And now it will ask you to select the hosting plan. As we already have our hosting on Maker WP, so let's click skip here. And you'll get this cart page. Now here you can see that we are getting our domain name for one year. And after one year, you need to renew to keep using it. So to get this domain, let's fill up these details. And enter your payment details. Once you're done, now click order now. And you can see that we have made our payment. Now let's click here. Then click domains. You can see that we have got our domain name. Okay, once you have got your domain name, now how do you connect your domain with your website? So next, let's see how you can connect your domain name with your website. So to connect it, click on this box. And click manage DNS. Then you'll get this page. Now click here. Now we need to enter this IP address next to the A record. So to get your website IP address, just go to your make your WP dashboard. Now click here. And then click on domains. Now scroll down. And you'll get these details. Now, just copy this IP address. So let's select it. Then copy. Now let's go back to our domain. And paste the IP address here. Once you have done that, let's click save changes. And the changes will be saved. Okay, now go back to make your WP. And here, enter your domain name. So I'm going to enter my domain name. Once you are done, finally click connect domain. And you can see that our domain is connected with our website. Once it's connected, now to check it, let's open a new tab. Now if we enter our domain name, which is clicksram.com and press enter. And you can see that we have successfully got our website in our own domain name. Now people can access your website by entering your domain name and they can find your services on your website. So that's it guys. This is how you can create a photography website. Now if you're ready to make your website, just click the link below this video and it will take you to make your WP page where you can launch your site and start building your photography website. Okay. Also make sure you click this subscribe button to see more videos from us. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Till then take care. Bye bye.